Hello students, welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. See, we are in the series of videos where we are learning NEET and KCET Physics. In this NEET and KCET Physics series of videos, we are learning uh, class 11 and class 12 physics to a very good depth so that we can crack the exams like NEET and KCET. Uh, so all the videos in this series of videos are very helpful for those who are preparing for NEET as well as KCET. You will learn the concepts to very good depth. You will learn number of shortcuts and number of methods to solve the MCQs easily. Right. So if you are preparing for NEET and KCET, uh, please watch this playlist. You will find the number of useful videos. You will find the concepts to the very good depth and you will be able to solve the MCQs of NEET as well as KCET with a very good confidence. Right. Okay. And uh, already uh, second PUC is already five chapters uploaded. Together. Five chapters have been uploaded. First PUC is one chapter uploaded. Together. This is the second chapter. We are in a chapter called as motion in a straight line. And this is the second video on this chapter. Right. So in this video, we are going to see, uh, we are going to learn the concepts of instantaneous speed, instantaneous velocity, average acceleration, instantaneous acceleration. Concepts are very simple. You related formulas, can this to formulas, other one more formulas as Concepts are very simple, but it remains in the MCQs and Yautara solve more than one or two. So mainly you have to concentrate on MCQ solving on these concepts. Right. Okay. Let us begin the video then. See, uh, first thing is instantaneous speed or instantaneous velocity. See, instantaneous word meaning in another at a particular time, at a particular time. For example, if a body has traveled for 5 seconds, under one the body's journey namag 8 second at the pantadre, how much is the velocity at 3rd second? That is instantaneous. How much is the velocity at 4th second? That is instantaneous. Under exact one the particular time only, other the velocity yesterday, other the speed yesterday, other the acceleration yesterday, those are called instantaneous values. Right? Yalla time or same angle free. Velocity of a particle goes on varying 2 meter per second, 4 meter per second, 3 meter per second, 15 meter per second. Either we change up with per prati second again. So one the particular second one the particular instant work at the velocity yesterday, that is called instantaneous. Right? Okay. So instantaneous speed or instantaneous velocity. These both are given by V is equal to not V is equal to V is equal to it is either given by ds by dt ds by dt yes under displacement or dx by dt uh, displacement is represented by yes also or it is also represented by x also so ds by dt or dx by dt and then over it right this is instantaneous speed or instantaneous velocity it means that by differentiating displacement we will get velocity by differentiating displacement we will get velocity when when the displacement is given in the form of an equation, if we have displacement and then the displacement and then we have the equation form the quarter degree a t square plus b t plus c something like this. If we have another quarter degree, other differentiate mark quarter we gain sector degree we will get velocity. Okay, you differentiated uh, displacement Dif displacement and you differentiate mark degree displacement and you differentiate mark degree. If we gain one, you got velocity. Velocity new integrate mark degree in Barbeco. If you integrate velocity, what you will get? You have to get again back the displacement in opposite displacement, right? So, if you want displacement, e displacement new integrate mark on you will get if you integrate the velocity, you will get displacement. Velocity and integrate mark on displacement. Okay, next average acceleration. See, average acceleration means average acceleration means it is total change in velocity, total change in velocity divided by total time total change in velocity divided by total time okay total change in velocity means it is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by change in time or it can also be written as total change in velocity divided by total time either now average acceleration right next instantaneous acceleration see we know this very well by differentiating you know, by differentiating displacement you got velocity and by differentiating velocity and by differentiating velocity you will get acceleration by differentiating velocity you will get acceleration or by integrating acceleration you will get by integrating acceleration you will get velocity right velocity differentiate mark under acceleration acceleration integrate mark under again perfectly velocity we can define it like this also See, if you differentiate the velocity once, you will get acceleration. Or if you differentiate the displacement twice, displacement and two times new differentiate mark on two times new differentiate mark on what you will get? You will get acceleration on You will get acceleration Displacement and once differentiate mark on you will get velocity. Other differentiate mark on you will get acceleration. 
so first order differentiation of displacement is velocity second order differentiation of displacement is acceleration right first order differentiation of displacement is velocity second order differentiation of displacement is acceleration right okay that's why we write it like this acceleration is equal to dv by dt dv by dt first order differentiation of velocity or we can also write it as d square s divided by dt square it means the second order differentiation of displacement second order differentiation of displacement right uh, sorry uh, that is acceleration instantaneous acceleration see e instantaneous acceleration we can uh, we can write it like this also idu now ee i will show it like this see acceleration is equal to we are having we are having uh, uh, dv by dt we are having dv by dt dv by dt sorry dv by dt i will write this dv by dt like this or i will multiply this dv by dt by dx and dx so, ds and the one displacement ds and the other ds by ds i will multiply and divide this by ds and ds and i will interchange the things now dv i will take ds on this side dv by ds into ds by dt ds by dt either dt akkada the one either ds akkada the one okay what is ds by dt ds by dt is velocity ds by dt is velocity so velocity into dv by ds e dv by ds as it is other so here i got acceleration in terms of velocity as well as differentiation of velocity in terms of displacement right or or even now uh, in terms of x now itara baritivi v dv by dx v dv by dx okay when to use this formula and when to use this formula e formula yavag use madbekadre when velocity is given in terms of time velocity namage time terms ol kopidre andre velocity is given as at square plus bt plus c like this in terms of time the velocity is given velocity is expressed in terms of time avag new a acceleration bekadre velocity ne with respect to time new differentiate markobeka if velocity is given in terms of displacement if it is given as ax square plus bx plus c so here the velocity is not in terms of time it is in terms of displacement velocity is in terms of displacement so avag nimage acceleration kelidre antandre you have to use this formula e formula ni use madbeka differentiate that velocity in terms of uh, with respect to displacement, with respect to x, you can differentiate the acceleration signal. Right? Okay. One more formula we should be knowing here. It is, if a particle is accelerated by acceleration a1, if a particle is accelerated by a1 in time t1 and by a2 in time t2, error acceleration is error time interval. So, in this case, average acceleration, in this case, average acceleration will be equal to a1 into t1 plus a2 into t2 divided by t1 plus t2 this much will be the average acceleration when there are two accelerations in two time intervals right so that is all about instantaneous speed instantaneous velocity average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration hope you understood the formulas clearly next we'll see some points which we have to remember regarding acceleration first thing is see acceleration of a particle may be positive negative or zero Acceleration namag positive or bodhre, acceleration namag negative or bodhre, acceleration namag zero or bodhre. Right? Negative acceleration is called retardation or it is also called as a deceleration. Okay? Well, acceleration may be positive. Positive yawa girta thre, when velocity is increasing with the time. When velocity is increasing with the time, acceleration will be positive. Acceleration will be positive. Acceleration will be negative when velocity is decreasing with the time when velocity is decreasing with the time and acceleration will be zero when velocity is constant with the time when velocity is constant with the time at that time what happens acceleration will be zero velocity constant idre acceleration zero velocity increase agalikatte idre acceleration positive velocity decrease agatte pa antandre acceleration is negative correct okay see yaake namage acceleration zero irutadre when velocity is constant because we define acceleration as rate of change of velocity Velocity change agli dek, then only you will get acceleration. Velocity na change agli lan tandra, acceleration nam girangila. Velocity constant it tandra, nam acceleration girangila. Right? Okay, amilil nore. Ili inund niu tilko beka. Acceleration will be positive when the angle between, when the angle between acceleration and velocity lies between 0 degree and 90 degree. Awag nam ka acceleration positive vere tandra. Acceleration is positive. Theta is the angle between velocity and acceleration. 
Acceleration will be negative when the angle between velocity and acceleration is greater than 90 degree, greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree, right? And acceleration will be zero when the angle between, when the angle between acceleration and velocity is equal to 90 degree. Huh? Theta and rate is angle between velocity and acceleration, right? So, this is one point you have to remember. We will go to the next point. Second point notary. If acceleration is perpendicular to velocity, if acceleration is perpendicular to velocity, I mean theta is equal to 90 degree, theta is equal to 90 degree, then whenever acceleration and velocity are perpendicular, whenever acceleration and velocity are perpendicular, uh, it gets better, motion is straight line. Okay, if acceleration is perpendicular to velocity, angle between them is 90 degree, then speed will remain constant speed will remain constant. Notary, speed and rate is nothing but it is the magnitude of velocity. Magnitude of velocity is speed and the karita. Magnitude of velocity is speed and the karita. Right? So, when speed is constant and velocity changes only by direction, velocity changes only by direction. Magnitude of velocity constant. Magnitude of velocity is constant. Atwa speed is constant. Velocity is changing only by direction. Velocity is changing only by direction. See, velocity is changing only by direction. Okay, see, we got to know one thing. Uh, the magnitude of velocity or speed is constant. Velocity is changing only by direction. At that time, how acceleration and velocity will be? How acceleration and velocity will be? Acceleration and velocity will be perpendicular to each other acceleration and velocity will be perpendicular to each other or we can say it like this if acceleration and velocity are perpendicular to each other magnitude of velocity or speed remains constant and velocity changes only by the direction it happens in uniform circular motion example for this is uniform circular motion uniform circular motion velocity only its direction goes on changing 20 meter per second it will be 20 meter per second only Magnitude of velocity is same only. Only it is changing by direction. This happens when acceleration is perpendicular to velocity. No, circular motion is the centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is the same towards the center. So, this is velocity, this is acceleration. They both are perpendicular to each other. Right? So, this is what happens when they both are perpendicular to each other. Next point. Here, if acceleration and velocity these both are parallel or anti parallel these both are parallel or anti parallel right theta is equal to 0 degree athwa anti parallel anti parallel antandre theta is equal to 180 degree antana theta is equal to 180 degree when acceleration and velocity are parallel or anti parallel speed changes speed changes speed antu namage change agutadre speed antandre ena magnitude of velocity magnitude of velocity it changes velocity changes by magnitude only ill direction of velocity change agangilla magnitude of velocity matra change agutadre here direction of velocity will not change only the magnitude of the velocity will change illi namage en agutadre velocity was changing only by direction here velocity is changing by magnitude only only by magnitude by magnitude only direction will not change Direction badla gangila. Is it example in antandra motion under gravity? Motion under gravity. This is the example. Motion under gravity. See, motion under gravity will gain akirta. For example, if a, a body is falling down, if a particle is falling down, if it is dropped, after the initial velocity is zero. When it comes and hits the ground, its velocity will not be equal to zero. Under velocity nam gain akirta tandra increase akirta. Magnitude of velocity increase akirta. But direction of velocity increase akangila. Direction of velocity nam increase agangil. Direction of velocity nam uh, sorry, direction of velocity nam same hai rathatre. Magnitude of velocity matra nam increase akko thok rathatre. Right? Ami lil note re. Velocity nu downwards direction thake rathatre. Velocity will also be in downwards direction only. Acceleration will also be in downwards direction only. That's why we say theta is equal to zero degree. Suppose if it is moving upwards. Suppose if it is moving upwards. Either the final velocity nam zero rathatre. Initial velocity will not be equal to zero. E case nagan nam velocity decrease akko rathatre. Velocity decrease only by magnitude, but direction of velocity will be upwards only, acceleration will be downwards. That's why we say it is 180 degree, anti parallel. Correct? 
so whenever acceleration and velocity are parallel or anti parallel the magnitude of velocity changes but the direction of velocity will not change direction of velocity will not be changed whenever acceleration and velocity are perpendicular the magnitude of velocity is constant but the direction of velocity changes right next case we'll go for the next case then see next case is if one component if one component of acceleration is perpendicular to velocity and one component of acceleration is parallel to velocity acceleration now resolve maarkondaga one component of acceleration is perpendicular to velocity another component of acceleration is parallel to velocity ee tara iddaga magnitude of velocity athwa speed changes magnitude of velocity or speed changes velocity changes by magnitude as well as direction eradu change aagtare velocity changes by magnitude by magnitude and and direction velocity changes by magnitude and direction ಎರಡು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರ್ತವೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟೈಲ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೇಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಸಮ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ನೌ ಸಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ S is equal to 3t cube plus 7t square plus 14t plus 8 meter. The value of acceleration of the particle at t equal to 1 second. Value of acceleration kya hathar? Yen koti thar hai? Displacement koti thar hai? Acceleration kya hathar hai? So what we have to do? We have to differentiate that displacement two times. Yaka thar hai second order differentiation of displacement is acceleration. Right? So yaga acceleration anth andhra hai? Acceleration andhra hai? We have to differentiate the displacement two times. A displacement and now two times differentiate maadu bheko. ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನ ಈ ತರ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಡಿ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಈ ತರ ನೀವು ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಅದನ್ನ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಡಿ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೈನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೈನ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟಿ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಏಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೈನ್ ನೈನ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇದ್ದು ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟಿ ಇದ್ದು ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಏಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇದು ಒಂದ್ ಸರಿ ನಾವು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ಒಂದು ಡಿ ಡಿ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಅದು ಇದ್ರ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನೈನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಟೀನ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟಿ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಜೀರೋ ರೈಟ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಲ್ರೇಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಬಂತು ಎಕ್ಸಲ್ರೇಷನ್ ಯಾವ ಟೈಮ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಕೇಳಿದಾರೆ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್
ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀರಿ ಅಥವಾ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀರಿ ಈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅದನ್ನು ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಏನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಗೇನು ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಎ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ರೀ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಡ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರಿ ನಮಗೆ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರೆ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅಂದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಇದನ್ನ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಏನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಬೇಕು ರೀ ನಮಗೆ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಗ್ಬೇಕು ರೀ ಅಥವಾ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಈ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ರೀ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಟು ಆಯ್ತಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಬಿ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಆಯ್ತಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಅಟ್ ಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಟಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಬರಿತೀನಿ ಇದು ಟೂ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟಿ ಜಾಗದ ನೀವು ಟೂ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಟೂ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇದು ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಏಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಏಟ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ನೀವು ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇರ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ರೀ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಡ್ ಅಥವಾ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಟು ಎ ಬೈ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬಿ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಎ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಎರಡದ ನಮಗೆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಎ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಕಾಮನ್ ನ ತಗೋಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ನಮಗೆ ಬಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಎರಡದವ್ರಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಬಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಬಿ
right? 6t I will get. Okay, even differentiate mark potre, you differentiate this, you will get it as 2t and differentiation of 9 is 0 minus 6. Correct? Okay, velocity number 0 ever come to the condition is velocity has to be 0. So, 0, 2t minus 6. So, 2t is equal to 6 I got, t is equal to how much I will get? I will get t is equal to 3 seconds. t 3 seconds in the when t is 3 seconds, when t is 3 seconds, at that time velocity is 0. At that time velocity is 0. So, at 3 seconds, how much is the displacement? Velocity is 0 in the displacement. Velocity is 0 in the 3 second. In the and the 3 second in the displacement test. Displacement is the formula. We have the formula of displacement here. Right? So, it is uh, how much? See, uh, t minus 3 whole square. That t under 3 substitute mark. 3 minus 3 will be 0. 0 square will be 0. It means displacement is 0. Right? So, displacement is 0. Yeah, option Displacement is 0 in option B. Correct? Okay, we'll go to the next question then. So the next question is: see, two cars P and Q start from a point at the same time in a straight line, and their positions are xp equal to 80 plus bt square, xq is equal to ft minus t square. At what time does the cars have the same velocity? Position of car P is given, position of car Q is given. Yard car the yard car the positions for the positions are the displacements. At what time does do the cars have the same velocity? The two cars have the same velocity. We should take the velocity of both the cars. Both the cars equal. Right? Both the cars equal. 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 Both VQ बेकादर नी वेन differentiate माड़ बेक, XQ नी differentiate माड़ बेक, DXQ by DT, right? Okay, XP differentiate माड़ रे, you differentiate this, if you differentiate that D by DT of AT plus BT square and D by DT of XQ, XQ अन्त अन्तर इद नमगद FT minus T square अन्तर, okay, differentiate माड़ कोंटर नमगद बन्त, A plus 2BT, A plus 2BT, इद नमग बर्त अद, F minus 2T, this much I will get. Right? Differentiate what we We want to find out time. We have time to find out. So, then T is equal to equate mark. Right? Okay. So, this is uh, A I will shift to that side and 2T I will shift to this side. So, 2BT plus 2T equal to F minus A. It is A akade bantha minus A. It is minus 2T akade bantha plus 2T. Okay. Here what we have common. Here we have T common. Or 2T common. 2T is common. In the bracket I will get B plus 1 equal to f minus a then t is equal to bar counter i will get it as f minus a divided by 2 into the bracket b plus 1 this much i will get right so is the time and number here we go so uh, which option is correct then option d is correct okay let us go to the next question then see the next question is the position x of a particle with respect to time t along x axis is given by okay x under a position of displacement to go to that where x is in meters, t is in seconds, what will be the position of the particle when it achieves maximum speed along positive x direction? <laughs> maximum speed, under maximum velocity. Velocity, namag, velocity of the speed, namag, maximum speed. Okay, namag, displacement, it is 9t square, 9t square minus t cube, they are given. What they are asking, what will be the position of the particle when it achieves maximum speed? And the x number when v is maximum, speed is maximum, or displacement is maximum. Maximum condition for maximum is dv by dt is equal to 0. Right? dv by dt is equal to 0. This is the condition for v to be maximum. V maximum when dv by dt is 0. This is the condition for maximum. Okay, so you can get V Baker. V Baker notary first in you within differentiate Marco Baker. You have to differentiate this. Okay, then differentiate Marco Dream velocity is equal to velocity is equal to dx by dt. You can either differentiate Marco then I will get it as 18t minus 3t square number 18t minus 3t square. So this is velocity. So now velocity bantha velocity is equal to I got 18t minus 3t square. 18t minus 3t square. नंग dv by dt बेकरे, dv divided by dt, dv by dt is equal to नंग 0, बेक अंदर ना v maximum मंते है वोड़, so v नमक already गोत्तो दरे, v already we know, that is 18t minus 3t square equal to 0, ये differentiate माड़ रे, what you will get, you will get it, you will get it as 18 minus 3 into 2 will be 6, 60 equal to 0, then I will get it as 18 is equal to 60, 
So 6 1s are 6 3s are nugget t is to bantha, I will get it as 3 seconds. So at time t is equal to 3 seconds, uh, uh, the what velocity will be maximum. Now we displacement ki okay, we want to calculate displacement. Now substitute this, this 3 seconds in the displacement. So x equal to 9 into 3 square, 3 square is 9 and 3 cube, it is 27, right? 9 into 9, it will be 81, 81 minus 27. 81 minus 27, how much it will be? It will be 54, correct? So, 54 means option A will be correct. Option A will be correct. Clear? Okay, then let us go to next question now. Next question is, a particle moves along a straight line x, O x. Okay, at a time t, the distance x of the particle from O is given by, okay, x under the moment position of the day. How long would the particle travel before coming to rest? Coming to rest under the end, before coming to rest, coming to rest under the velocity number zero on the right? So, velocity number zero on the order in the half and in there. So, we have to calculate how long the particle will travel. How long on the day? How long on the day? We have to calculate time. We have to calculate time, correct? So, ignore the equation of differentiate model. x is equal to 40 plus 12t minus t cube. And then, the equation is equal to plus 12t minus t cube. And then, the equation is equal to differentiate model. And then, the velocity is equal to velocity. Correct? So, velocity. So, differentiation of 40 will be 0. 12t will be 12 minus 3t square. It is equal to velocity. Before it comes to rest. Particle before it comes to rest. And then, v now 0 substitute. And then, v is equal to 12 minus 3t square. And then, v na 0 on the it will be 12 minus 3t square. So, I will get 12 is equal to 3t square and 3 ones are 3 fours are. So, t is equal to na guest one the 2 seconds. In nam again the how long and the time kya other or nam. Sorry, how long and the sorry, they have asked us distance or nam distance kya other answer alone nam distance all together. So, if t is equal to 2 seconds, you substitute matter. Substitute t is equal to 2 seconds in this. So, x equal to x equal to it is 40 40 plus 12t, 12 into 2, 24, minus t cube, 2 cube is 8, right? So, this is 40 into 24 will be 64, 64 minus 8, 64 minus 8 will be 56 meter. So, answer is option D, option D will be correct. We will go to the next question then. So, the next question is, this is from KCT, the motion of a particle along a straight line is described by the equation x equal to 8 plus 12t minus t cube, where x is in meter and t is in second. The retardation of the particle when velocity becomes zero. Velocity is zero agadaga retardation yesterday. Much same case other either now just in Marbek Pantandre. We have to just differentiate first. Either now differentiate Markovika. So differentiate Markontanam with the velocity birth. So differentiate Markontan with the answer birth of that 12 minus 3 t square. 12 minus 3 t square. Uh, equation other put the 12 minus 3 t square. And uh, we have to find out the velocity uh, retardation when velocity becomes zero. So, velocity is 0 to go back and the 3t square. So, this will be t is equal to 2 seconds. Again, we same equation. T is equal to 2 seconds. Right? 12 is equal to 3t square. 3 ones are 3 fours are t will be 2. Retardation when velocity is 0. So, velocity is 0. Velocity is 0. The time 2 seconds. Substitute that 2 seconds. Uh, substitute that 2 seconds in velocity. Retardation is the retardation of the particle when velocity becomes zero. Retardation is the acceleration. So, this velocity is differentiate. If you have acceleration, this velocity is differentiate. It will be minus 60. This is differentiate. Right? So, minus 60. Acceleration is minus 60. Velocity is zero. It is time. 2 seconds. Substitute that time here. Then A will be equal to minus 12 meter per second square. This is the acceleration or retardation. Right, which option is correct? Option D. Option D is correct. Right? Okay. We'll go to the next question then. So you know, so that is what I had told you. Velocity in terms of position. X because this is the question. If the speed position relation of particle moving in a straight line is given by V square is equal to A minus B X square. V square is equal to A minus B X square, where A and B are constants, then acceleration of the particle is proportional to. Acceleration of the particle is proportional to the Okay, this is the v square is equal to a minus b x square. This a must be constant around the other, a must be constant. This is the acceleration. Right? Okay, this is Let us differentiate this. Let us differentiate this with respect to with respect to uh, v. With respect to v. Now, we will differentiate. 
ओके लेट अस डिफरेंशिएट दिस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वी नाउ डिफरेंशिएट ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಇದು ನಮಗೆ ಏನು ಬರ್ತದೆ ರೀ 2v ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ 2v ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ a ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ 0 ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ 0 ಮೈನಸ್ b ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ x ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನಮಗೆ 2x dx by dv ಆಗ್ತದೆ 2x dx by dv ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟನ್ ಆಸ್ 2v is equal to minus 2bx dx by dv ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಬಂತು ಈ dx by dv ನ ಈ ಕಡೆ ತಗೋತೀನಿ 2v dv by dx ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನಮಗೆ dv by dx i will get it as minus 2b into x so 2 and 2 will get cancelled i got v dv by dx what is v dv by dx that is acceleration only ad acceleration ad acceleration is equal to minus bx anta bantu what is minus b it is constant then a is directly proportional to x raised to 1 correct then which option is correct option b is correct this is how we have to solve it right we'll go to the next question then so the next question is the velocity of a particle moving in positive x axis direction is according to the relation v is equal to v is equal to root 4x v is equal to root 4x is namu kottidare if at t equal to 0 x is 0 notri t is 0 iddaga x namage 0 adu ante helatare x is 0 right then the velocity and acceleration at t is equal to 2 seconds namage velocity matte acceleration kelatare when t is equal to 2 seconds velocity and acceleration when t is equal to 2 seconds okay t is equal to 2 seconds idaga how much is the velocity and how much is the acceleration how much is the acceleration this is they are asking okay i have the equation v is equal to root 4x nangade igina idana square maadkondre idu nange 2v is equal to 4x varthade 2v is equal to 4x idu now differentiate maadkolona with respect to v so it will be 2v and this will be 4 dx by dv 4 dx by dv differentiate mark kontra dx by dv ikade thagodre you will get 2v dv by dx dv by dx equal to 4 this is 4 ones are this is sorry 2 ones are 2 twos are so nang bantha v dv by dx v dv by dx equal to 2 what is v dv by dx that is acceleration so acceleration nang guest bantre acceleration is 2 acceleration 2 iranta avu erad options adu avilla first they have asked okay first they, they have asked velocity and then acceleration model velocity amel acceleration kelu that so uh, velocity acceleration to erade acceleration acceleration to meter per second square iruvanta we have options adu so these both options will get cancelled these both options will get cancelled in namage en bekre what we want we want velocity velocity namage bekre right we want velocity so velocity bekadre nodri what we have to do is time t is equal to time t is equal to 0 iddaga x namage est ad 0 ad hangadre time t is equal to 2 seconds iddaga when time t is equal to 2 seconds at that time how much is x x est ad ad now calculate madbeku okay at t equal to 2 seconds we want the value of x nange ig x bekayidre i want x namathra yen ad acceleration we have ಈ ಎಕ್ಸಲ್ರೇಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಟೂ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಎಕ್ಸಲ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ನಾ ಏನಾದರೂ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೂ ಟಿ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ನ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ವಿ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಈ ವಿ ನ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಂಗೆ ಏನು ಬರಬೇಕು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೂ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು and that is 2 and 2 will get cancelled it will get x equal to t square so nang time 2 seconds ad i will substitute the time 2 is equal to 2 seconds here i will get x equal to 4 x equal to 4 so time 2 seconds iddaga when time is 2 seconds at that time how much is x x is ad how much is x x is 4 x is 4 namage velocity bekagidre velocity is equal to we have 4x 4x so x is 4 4 into 4 will be 16 so in the root 16 either so velocity in guest birth of three i will get velocity as 4 meter per second right so then which option is correct option d is correct option d is correct right so that's all about instantaneous velocity instantaneous speed instantaneous acceleration average acceleration right uh, so the next video will be on graphs uh, of rectilinear motion uh, xt graph vt graph and excel uh, at graph all three graphs we will see for all different situations so we will understand the graphs from the very basic thing you will get all the doubts related to the graphs cleared in that next video 
right don't miss the next video uh, you will understand everything related to the guitars right okay if you like the content of this channel dear students please don't forget to subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel and please share the channel with your friends at any cost right thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel please keep watching and supporting the channel thank you